Hello and welcome back to the bench. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom multimeter test leads with alligator clip end with uh, just these simple things. So we've got some eBay alligator clips, some eBay 4mm banana plugs, and a length of 22 gauge silicone wire. Alright, let's get started. So we're going to start with these 4mm banana plugs and I chose the ones with this plastic cover because they make great grip for pulling them in and out of the multimeter and they have a hole in them so that you can actually put an alligator clip or something if you want to connect more than one thing together. Also, um, this hole does accept another one of these connectors so the versatility is pretty good. So first you just take out the screw that holds on the plastic cover and put it where you're going to find it again and plastic cover just comes right off and then we can take this and put it into our helping hands. Now that the connector is in the helping hands, I can take my 22 gauge silicone wire and strip it. And these are silicone wires, very easy to strip. You can just ring it with your fingernail, pinch and pull, and then you get a perfect strip every time. I'm going to twist the strands together and I'm going to secure it into the helping hands uh, because it, it could get hot. Um, now I've got my soldering iron at 400 degrees Celsius and it is very hot because my tip is very small and this is a lot of metal to heat up and so having the temperature up a little higher will, will help transfer more heat quicker and so I'm going to tin the tip of my soldering iron with a little bit of solder, place it underneath my uh, wire and then I'm going to try to flow the solder through the wire it's important that you're flowing the, the solder through the wire and not onto the tip. That's how you can make sure that this is saturated in solder. Then I'm going to take the uh, tinned end of the tip and I'm going to put it underneath the um, banana plug. And the goal here will be to heat up the banana connector hot enough that it'll take its own solder. And when it gets hot enough, you can feed the solder through the screw hole onto the bottom end of the connector, make a nice little puddle, and then pull away. All you have to do now is put the wire into the, the uh, banana plug in a way that it'll hold, and then reflow the two together. And then all you have to do is heat up the banana plug again and reflow the solder that was inside and so that the tin tip and the um, solder in the banana plug become one. Might have to take a little bit. I'm going to pull away and let that cool and then we're going to check out the results. Okay, now that it's cooled a little bit I can give it a tug and you see that it's a solid connection which is great but this is still hot. Um, which is okay because I've noticed that these these cheap uh, eBay banana plugs um, they have a small issue where this cage here um, I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see this cage is too loose and it doesn't provide a reliable connection all the time and so to fix that I just take the hot soldering iron and I just want to solder the cage to the rest of the connector uh, only in, in a small spot because it increases the reliability while still remaining springy so that it can hold on tight to the multimeter. Just blow in solder and pull away. Let that cool down and you'll know this is good when uh, you can't rotate the cage like this it doesn't rotate and that'll be a solid connection and we have to let that cool now that this has cooled down a fair bit we can go ahead and remove this and then slide on the uh, shielding and this will go like this, pull that through, 
it might be a little rough. And then put the screw back in. And then move on to the other end. And for the other side it's the same thing but now we have this alligator clip. So to open the alligator clips I like to open them, let them pinch my fingers, pull out the cover and then remove this. I'm going to install this into the helping hands. And always make sure to slide your cover onto your wire because in this case we won't be able to slide it on the other side. Same thing for stripping here, just use your fingernails to pinch down on the silicone wire and pull it apart. And there you go, clean up the little stray um, wires. Put this into my helping hands. Same thing as before. And with the soldering iron we're going to pre-tin both the alligator clip and the uh, wire. So the wire is the easiest, we're going to pre-tin the tip and then apply it to the bottom of the wire. Let the solder flow over. Take the bubble, face it down onto the alligator clip. And once the alligator clip gets hot enough to melt its own solder, put a little bit of solder on, pull away. Then I like to run my wire through this little hole for mechanical support. So I'm going to put it through the hole and line up the clip so everything is tight. And then reflow the um, two together. Away, let that cool. Now that it's cool, I'm going to take off the clip and the wire. I'm going to turn it around, and you'll see that the um, they have these little forks at the end, these little uh, triangular bits, and we're going to fold those over using pliers over the wire like this and like this, and so it crisscrosses. Then we're going to take the pliers and crimp it down. Not too hard, but hard enough that when you pull it won't come apart or it won't stress the uh, solder joint. Then open up the alligator clip, move the cover into place, slide it over, and then there you go. Custom alligator clip lead for your multimeter. And of course we wouldn't be done unless we made sure that this connector had uh, very low resistance. So I have my multimeter in the ohm setting and I'm going to put the this end into the positive and the clip into the negative and see what we get. And we get effectively no resistance. So I mean obviously the multimeter doesn't have um, a high voltage um, impedance test, but at the low voltage, probably sends out about one and a half volts or so, we can see that there's no measurable resistance and that's good enough for us. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. If you have any, any better ideas than what I've done, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments and I hope I'll see you next time.